Yo, what's up, guys? Zelda Gaming three one four here, and just bring. This isn't a regular Pokemon Uranium LP episode. This is actually a how to, kind of like my Nucleon how to. Except this how to is gonna be how to catch S fifty one. This is actually the only way to obtain it in this version of the game. All right, so what you wanna do is head to Route O eight. I really um suggest that you do this event before you take on the gym leader because after if you do it if you wait until after you take on the gym leader the only time you can do it is after you beat the main game the main story of the game because that's the only time that you're going to be able to come back to Veneville and then once you get to Veneville you want to head east to route 8 and you're going to find this white house outside and you're going to find a lady inside named Ripley and now we're going to talk to her. Oh, you're a trainer, aren't you? Listen, aren't you inter interested in mystery? I need some help. And I believe I have to do it at night. And the game considers night to be 8 p.m. That's going to be based on your computer time. Or whatever you're using to play it. I need a trainer to do it. So if you want to adjust your time, you can um, just use your computer. Alright, my name's Ripley. My grandfather owns all the fields you see around, but he's traveling abroad and left me to manage the farm. Lately, though, there, we've been having strange phenomena. I'll fall asleep at night, and when I go out to check the field in the morning, half of my crops are bent over. Not only that, but seen from above, there are all sorts of weird shapes and patterns. Can't figure it out at all. I think it might be aliens. I tried to staying up on staying up at night to catch them. I act, but I keep falling asleep. I know there's something out there. Whatever it is, it moves too fast for me to get a good picture. So that's where I need your help. I need you to sneak through the fields and find the source of the crop circles. I always see a bright light on the other side of the lake. So maybe that's where they're coming from. Be careful not to let them see you though. Alright, so she teleports you to an, uh, an otherwise inaccessible, an unaccessible area, I guess. Alright, as you can see, it's S fifty ones flying all around, and what you want to do is avoid their eyes. As you can see, I fell right there. So I'd start all back, all the way back over. Okay, I guess we have to study the movement pattern, maybe. Alright, so we can pass him. Seeing that the pattern. That the pads are almost random though. That's the only um, weird part. Alright, I think we got through most of it. Alright, so when you get done with that, you want to head over here. And this is their leader. I think this is their evolved form right here. You can spot it, but it doesn't look like it's going to flee. It's attacking. Alright, so next we want to do is battle this guy and you want to beat him. I don't believe you can capture him. I guess we'll try. We'll see if we can capture them right. Why not? So obviously I've already beaten the game on this account. Okay, so you can't capture them, so I'm wrong. Alright, so let's weaken them. Even though you don't really need to. Well, I get, well actually, you do. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, do I even have a way to weaken this guy? I'm a Pokemon too strong. Maybe this guy can surf him. Alright, these things are psychic still, I wanna say. Let's see, fight. Psychic steel, maybe strength. Can weaken it. And they actually have a mega. This guy actually has a mega evolution as well, so. Alright, simple beam, turn my type to simple. So once you get your S51, you can get a Mega Stone. I think I'm going to make a video that just compiles all the location of the Mega Stone. Alright, so it has hidden power as well. And we'll capture this thing. Like I said, it's not necessary that you capture it because I believe after this mission. Well, we'll see. We'll just see. So it's an S51A. He just doesn't want to be. Oh, it can't be caught. I'm not even paying attention, guys. It's kind of late at night. It's 1:30 where I'm at. 
Alright, so I should. So you cannot capture this guy. Alright, so let's just kill him with the iron. Iron head is not gonna kill him, is it? Alright, he is gonna kill him. Alright, so we're able to beat him. So after you beat this guy, Ripley comes up. So that's what's causing, huh? A Pokemon. But that doesn't explain why it was attacking. It's easy, really. It's Sheldon? Yeah. It's because I was bored. It's your Pokemon? Who are you? <laughs> You've lived here your whole life, Ripley. Shouldn't you know me by now? Sheldon, I can't believe you're doing this again. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? This town sucks. Everybody's so content with the boring little lives. They don't know what real excitement is. If you have to stay holed up in the gym for much longer, I'll die. Or if I, if I, I don't think it's much, very funny. You shouldn't take it out on my grandfather's farm. Well, that just goes to show you, country people have no sense of humor. Now I know you're a lousy trainer, so you can't have been you that defeated as 51A. So then, who was it? This kid? Like I said, you're supposed to do this part before you even fight the gym, fought the gym leader. Hmm, must be a good trainer. He's my strongest Pokemon. I don't even use her to fight challengers at the gym. You're in the area, so I assume you must be a challenge here to challenge my gym, right? I'm looking forward to it. Take us out of here. Huh, he always does this. Doesn't make it a secret that he hates this whole town, but he's stuck here out of obligation to his family. I just wish he'd leave us alone. Anyway, thanks for your help. I get it now. You had a Pokemon order the wild S51s around. You did manage to catch one, didn't you? I hear they're pretty rare. If you didn't catch any, I managed to get one. But I'm not really much of a trainer. Alright, here you have to say yes. If you say no, you cannot go back and get it. You cannot go back to talk to her and get it. You have to say yes. So you get your S51. Don't want to nickname it. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I nicknamed it X. Okay. And that is it, guys. Um, I'm going to pause it and cut to the Pokemon Center just so you can see the S51. Alright, I had another brain fart. I remember I only brought five Pokemon with me on purpose, so it came with me. Alright, so we have X here, a aka F51. Dawson Nature, Summer Vein, has Levitate. That's pretty good IVs, to be honest. Still Psychic, you no know, Psybeam, Headbutt, and Power, and Defense. And apparently, he probably evolves at around 35. And he has a Mega Evolution as well. His Evolution has a Mega Evolution as well. And that's about it for this little tutorial video. Um, leave a comment if this helped you. Leave a like. And if you have any suggestions for any more um, tutorial videos for Pokemon. I almost said Sun Moon. Pokemon Uranium. Um, I think I'm going to start working on the how to find the legendaries. I haven't even, I haven't even um, looked for them yet. But um, it's going to be my next goal to find the legendaries and help you guys find them. And like I said, I want to also compile a location list for all the mega stones and maybe make a video of all the mega evolutions in the game if you guys think those are good ideas you know leave a comment and um thank you guys for watching see you guys next time